Huh? It, it has become invisible? What the hell? Yeah, I, uh, I guess we uh, encountered a bug because we have an invisible unit, guys. Okay, that is weird. I just hope this fixes itself. Well, well if it doesn't, I will just disband it. Hello everyone, I am Boiler and I welcome you to episode 2 of Humankind. Yeah, so uh, the last episode we played through the uh, Neolithic Age and uh, yeah, it took us about an hour. So uh, I'm really comfortable with the uh, game speed that I chose. So Endless, uh, we chose Endless, which is the slowest game speed. And yeah, I actually enjoyed playing for one, about one hour in the Neolithic Age. I thought that was great and I hope that the uh, future... Uh, eras will be equally as rewarding. I guess they will take longer than an hour though So uh, the Neolithic era is the shortest one in this game and then once you start building cities and stuff uh, It will obviously take longer because there is more stuff to do in each turn We are currently at turn 28 of a total of 600 if we ever get there of course, but uh, yeah, we are doing quite well here We uh, we are first uh, in fame uh, because we unlocked two era stars. We discovered a natural wonder uh, So uh, we, we are actually doing quite well here. So this is this is cool uh, We now can choose a uh, culture which will we, we will do in a moment and actually before I forget it uh, let me uh, drop a save uh, end of Neolithic Save just in case I want to go back to that. So uh, resume here. Yeah, uh, so we will now choose a culture. We have claimed two territories, so we'll need to claim some more territories, uh, I guess. Uh, because, yeah, well, we, we don't want to end up with uh, with too little space. Uh, don't want to get into fights very early on. I, I really want to build up a little bit first. So, uh, yeah, let's choose our culture. So who is already taken? So the Nubians are gone. Um, then the Mycenaeans are gone. These are militaristic. These are merchants. Then the Hittites are gone. Again, militaristic. The militaristic ones are already gone. That's That means our neighbors have, to have these, probably. Uh, then we have the Harappans, who are gone, uh, which are agrarian. Then the Assyrians are gone as well. So there are five left for us to choose from. So we have the Zhu, uh, which is basically uh, Chinese, early Chinese culture. Then we have the Phoenicians. Uh, they are quite cool. They are uh, merchants. Then we have the Olmecs. Uh, these are Astids. Then we have the Egyptians, which are builders. Uh, that's actually cool. And then we have scientists, uh, which are the Babylonians. So which one do we want? So what are their uh, their bonuses? More details. So what do we have? Plus two re science per research technologies on capital. So this is their legacy trade. This trade will, will stay with us throughout the game. But we will change the culture at the start of the next era. So we will no longer be Babylonians. We will be whatever we will choose at that point. But this trade will stay with us forever. So by, when picking a culture now, we really need to consider which bonus will be the best bonus throughout all six Eras. Now, while two science per research technologies on capital is really powerful early on, it will diminish over time because, uh, yeah, it, later technologies are really expensive, so uh, the effect will not be as great. Of course, we'll get two for every additional science, but uh, for every uh, additional technology, but uh, because later sciences are so much more expensive, it will not scale well over time. Uh, the astronomy house is uh, what is that? Um, resource exploitation, it will expo exploit food and science. Uh, this will count as a farmer quarter and research quarter at the same time. That, that's actually very cool. Well, that is actually very cool. What else do we get? We get a special unit, um, which is quite powerful. So that's not bad at all. And what does this mean? This means affinity details. Uh, I will receive more fame and earning it. That's okay. That's okay. Can set cities into collective minds mode, which I will probably not use, but uh, it's nice to have. So what what can the uh, Egyptians give us? Um, 
Okay, can I land razor mode. So we could speed up production with this at the cost of uh, science and money. So this is great. One industry on tile producing industry uh, and minus 10 on district industry cost. So if we build in district, it will be 10% cheaper and every tile that, that's producing industry will produce one more. That's actually really powerful. That's even useful later in the game. So yeah. Then we have the Egyptian pyramid is a maker's quarter, uh, basically an industrial quarter. Uh, plus one influence, which is great because influence is really, uh, really useful. Uh, it will give minus 10 stability though, so what's with these? This gives minus 10 stability as well. Um, and then we get the plus 3 industry on the chase and makers quarters, plus, plus 1 worker slot on city on the outpost. Yeah, and we get a powerful unit, a uh, powerful ranged unit at that. So what's what to have the Olmecs? Plus 1 influence on each territory. Uh, then the Olmec head. Yeah. No, they're they're just they're just there for influence. I I don't get that. No, and the power and the unit is not too powerful, I think. So the Phoenicians uh no. Uh we don't have a lot of coasts as I see it. Uh so they are not really what we want. Then we have the Chinese plus two stability on each district, um Confucian school, uh science. Uh, science per mountain. We have quite a bit of mountains, I think. Uh, plus one science, plus one research slot. Count as a research quarter. Powerful unit. Um, it's a ranged unit. Uh, what's that? That is ranged, doc, isn't it? No, what is that? Oh, they actually have a ship. Um, six movement twenty feet. That's actually quite powerful. So we. I'm leaning towards research or builders. And that's not too bad either. Um, well, we are already have a research bonus. Uh, we have plus one research for each, uh, for each citizen we have. So, which one do I want here? Do I want the zoo? Well, the extra stability isn't too bad and this gives a quite a bunch of research but it's the only one it gives it's, it only gives research this is more balanced it also gives food and i feel that we don't have too much food uh, on our starting location so on the other hand this gives this gives quite a bit of production bonus this is in the long run i think this is the more powerful one there and what's what do they have more stability means we can have bigger cities but uh, I don't... Well, I'm European. I don't really want to play as an Asian culture. So, um... What do we get? Um... Then it's either the Babylonians or the Egyptians. So, building... So, builders or scientists. I feel like builders, because we, we we can build stuff faster, so we can also build uh, science stuff and other stuff faster. We get additional influence. Um, and I really like pyramids. <laughs> so uh, um, that's quite tough, actually. Hmm. We can build stuff faster because... And we have quite a powerful unit here, uh, which will need horses, I think. Yeah, I need to research the wheel, uh, and it will need access to horses to build this. Whereas this one, I can just build this. No, I need bronze working. Um, let's go with the. Let's go with the. Uh, let's go with the Egyptians. Understood. Understood. Yes. Okay. So. Okay, that looks like crap, actually. <laughs> oh, uh, what the hell? Adopt. So let's let's do that. Yeah, let's confirm. We are now. We are now Egyptians. Ah, the challenges of a young civilization. It's hard keeping up with the neighbors when they have the wheel and you don't. Humankind learns quickly that everyone contributes. If you're terrified of wild animals, you can grow lentils or catch fish. Tribes settle towns, towns develop markets, and markets begin the exchange of goods, services, and most important, 
rumors and hearsay. Entering this era as the Egyptians then? No prizes for guessing how you plan to leave your mark. <laughs> yeah, uh, I guess so. Maxima, what's that? Yeah, okay, okay, I know that. Acknowledge. Culture chosen, yes. New era, understood. So now we need... Uh, what the hell? Understood. So where can I see our era stars? Oh, actually, you can see it here. So let's see what we must do to earn era stars. So for six districts, we'll earn a era star. And since we are builder, we'll get uh, double the fame for that. Um... Own 10 territories attached to any city, including the city's territory. Current value is zero. Era stars unlocked this turn would grant 100. Okay. What do we have here? Reach a total of 1200 influence. Okay. Uh, agrarian stars have 12 population. Oh, actually, we'll, we'll unlock this pretty soon. Um, then we have earn one, uh, 1100 money. Um, obtain four technologies and destroy a total of 12 military units. Okay, so these are the things that will earn us era stars and uh, once we have seven of these we can progress to the next era or we can stay and try to unlock a little more as we did in the Neolithic age. So um, yeah, that's actually cool. So uh, let's close that up and let's see what we need to do. So now we have scouts here. We don't have uh, we no longer have um, nomadic tribes, obviously. So let's actually uh, uh, discover some more territory. And then let's maybe even claim one more. So these guys here... Uh, do we have? Do we still have curiosities? So this outpost is finished. This will take four more turns. Um... So let's see, let's see. We'll, we'll actually transform this into a city. Okay, yeah. Once you, uh, once you uh, have an outpost, you can then transform it into a city. The first one is free. After that, it will cost influence. So we'll just do this. And we can now create our religion. Pick the base of your uh, people's beliefs. So we can poly polytheism or shamanism. Now, polytheism will give plus five faith per number of attached territories. I don't plan on attaching too many territories, I'd rather have cities. So, shamanism will give plus one faith per population. I actually want to go with this, I, I plan to build a big population. So, found our religion. Holy site. So, we can build stone rings. Understood. Okay. Uh, let's see what else is to do in this uh, ransacking. Yeah, um, yeah, unit veterancy. Um, what do we get from ransacking right now? Okay, so let's see what. Oh, what's happening here? So they actually um, claimed this territory, which I'm not too fond of. Um, what do I get from ransacking? So I will no longer grow my unit, obviously. Over this way. Well, we'll find out. Ransack this. And see what we get. So we have these two guys here. And actually I want to go and attach these to my... Uh, to my city over there. So... Uh, can I disband these units? Uh, station... Where can I disband these units? No, not claim territory. Disband. I want to actually disband you guys. Clear forest, ransack, auto explore, move, regroup. Um, skip. Do I need? Do I need to select individual units? Disbanding units. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I want to do this and this one as well. So now we have already two, uh, we already have two population in our city. So how are we doing here? Um, uh, it's high enough to support uh, population growth. It is currently gaining one population every 21 turns. Yeah, that's all right. So 
That's good. Uh, now we have a city that isn't building anything. So what do we want to build? We can build districts. Seven turns for a pyramid. And actually we should do this. Um, so where can we build this? Uh, the pyramid needs to be built adjacent to a river. Um, so what do we have? We have production right there. Um, if we place it here, we will lose we will lose food, which will not be a good idea. So we'll probably be best off putting it somewhere. Um, let me first check what these tiles offer. So there's only there's only production down here. There's only production over here. There is food there. So. This is both. So these two can only give production. What is this? Woodland cave. Okay. That's actually not bad. Um, so let's put down the pyramid actually. Let's put it down right there. Um, and let's get this started. Yes. We cannot put it there. And there will... No, the best... The best option I think would be here. So let's put it right there. Okay. After that, we'll probably do a farm because we want uh, more food coming in here. Okay. But usually place the production building first because then we will build the other thing faster. So we have a, uh, a event. Despite all our efforts, the fighter never woke from her slumber. Her life force slowly slipped away over several days. And now her body lies cold. There's nothing more to do than perform the last rite and forget this bleak day. So this is the... Uh, the second card for the uh, solve for the blooded event. Loss. Okay. Now what happened? What is this? You can introduce yourself to this empire. So who is this? Help me make this world a better place for all our peoples. Okay. So this are the Hittites. Where are they on the in the world? I don't really see them right next to us which is great because if they do not are not right next to us we can actually try to befriend them because uh yeah um we probably won't need to fight them very soon so uh, we'll introduce ourselves a thousand welcomes i am the leader of a great people i hope you are one who keeps their word okay. welcome what do you seek uh not much right now what can we do uh, I don't think we can do much right now. I mean, I don't want to declare war. I don't want to have a surprise war right now. Can we trade something? No, we can't. Okay, we could basically propose open borders or only trade luxuries. Propose? Things change, even leaders and empires. I have a proposal for you. Okay. Your proposition is advantageous. Oh. Magnificent! The future beckons. Okay, they uh, accept it. That is great. That is actually great. So uh, we'll we'll be we'll be out of here. Yes. Okay. So uh, the funny thing is we don't know our neighbors. Oh, didn't they? They didn't uh, establish a civilization yet. That's probably it. So, um, so these are only outposts. And what I really want to do is, I really what I really want to do is. So this is a city. Um, I really want to go and claim this territory. So let's see if we can do this. Um, so they have one more oh, movement yeah. left. So let's go over there. So we need to choose a science, uh, a technology to, uh, to uh, research. So what do we want? We need to research the wheel because um, we want to build our uh, we want to build our special unit. Now what is this? Where is the, where is the wheel? The wheel is over here. So we need to go right there. So first, what what do we need for the wheel? We need domestication. And carpentry. For domestication, we have a bonus. So we'll we'll do that. We'll definitely do that first. Okay. So we have selected something to research. And yeah. Then uh, we'll just end our turn. And see what else happens. Uh, 
Where are our units? So we have disbanded two units. We have three that are on the march to claim this territory, and we have these guys ransacking They have a upstairs. certain appeal, the Olmecs. Be careful that your people don't start liking the neighbors more than you. Okay. Uh, culture chosen. Okay, the Olmecs. Ransack successful. Culture and conversion started. Olmecs. Oh, they are down here. So these are neighbors, so we need to be careful there. We need to be careful right there. Acknowledge. Um. Greetings. I'm called hot-blooded, short-tempered, passionate. All the highest compliments. As long as we are honest and fair, we can do mighty things. Okay. He doesn't look like an Olmec, to be honest. <laughs> but it's... Beowulf is the leader of the Olmecs. That's great. So, uh, we'll introduce ourselves. A thousand welcomes. I am the leader of a great people. I hope you are one who keeps their word. It was not love or hate at first sight. Let's see how second sight goes. Yeah. For the moment, we'll propose to trade luxuries. Hail, friend. I have a notion which would benefit us both. My people will profit from this proposal. We accept. You are the pride of your empire. I really like this this voice acting actually. That's 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 great. <laughs> um so let's see. So the ransack we got ten gold from this. Okay, so ransacking gives ten gold now. Um what do we wanna do with this? Um actually I wanna go over there and claim claim this territory before anyone else does. And yeah, the other one there we want just to uh Oh we have another four over here. Okay, uh, let's see what we can find. So there's another... Okay, these are... No, we, we, don't, we do not want to attack these guys. We are friendly with these. So we don't want to do that. Um, right. So we'll just stay there. Um, now these guys, let's see. Follow me. What can we do there? We can ransack this. And then we will claim it after we ransack this. <laughs> uh, how many turns will this take? Two turns. Okay, we'll see what the outcome is. You are being plundered. Oh, Jesus Christ, please not. Off we go. So we'll get a little bit uh, of money from there. Uh, I am being ransacked by... Okay, well, let's... Let's, go. let's see if we can attack these guys. Uh, I think they... Yeah, we should be able to do this. Uh, in the next turn, probably. You successfully plundered. Where did I do this? Um, right there. And now it's ours, isn't it? No, it's no longer claimed, so we will claim it, of course. Um, where would a good, where would be a good spot? Um, actually, eight and twenty, and phew, a ton of a uh, ton of production, but very little food. Um, what else do we have here? 8 and 20, 8 and 20, but there are mountains right there. I don't really want these mountains. Uh, 11 and 9, 10 and 9, 8 and 15, that's actually not too bad. I mean, 8 and 20, but these mountains, um, I can't really build anything there. So actually, 11 and 9, this is, 11 and 9 will be... Actually, that would be okay, wouldn't it? 7 and 15, that's 22. Now, I don't really know... What's that? What is that? Papyrus. Okay, that's, that's a luxury resource. Actually, I want to put this... 
I want to put this outpost right there. Yeah, 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 whatever. Cultural conversion started. So, um, who else can move? You can move. There is a mammoth. Uh, do I need to kill this mammoth? Uh, I want to claim this territory. What does this cost? 60 influence. So I, I cannot claim this territory. So I can uh, might as well attack the mammoth and see what happens. Manual battle. Um, so I don't want any units on the uh, yeah. on the low ground. So I want Follow you me. guys over there. No, I want you Come guys over, over there. So end deployment. So let's see, 22, 33. Okay, you guys give more. Oh, actually what I could do, uh, if I could get one unit behind these guys, I can't. But yeah, so I will just uh, take the flanking Go. bonus. Strike first, strike hard. So yeah, we damage it quite a bit, so... Um, Now you guys just go there and yeah, it should be fine. So and then I will attack from behind which will just kill it. Yep. Minus one mammoth. What did we get? Uh, 20 gold, yeah. Okay, so now, uh, now we get gold for killing things, that's okay. Uh, do we have any movement left? No, we don't. So what do we have here? So, Jesus Christ. If we attack these guys. Um, All together. We need to attack these guys, definitely. And deployment. Um, where's our flag? Okay. Okay, they now are back there. So I will go there. Try to hold this flag and defend. And now? I could attack. Uh, it's too evenly matched, so what we will do is we will actually defend again. Okay, and then if we attack, we, we do quite a bit of damage. But we'll probably do more damage if we just defend again. <laughs> so we'll just defend again. Victory! So now let's. Oh, we can't. Okay, let's just let's just keep it then. Uh, urgent affairs require your attention. Empire Foundation. By what right do we rule? New civic. Show details. So we can choose a civic. Okay. Yep. Um, enact natural right. Enact the civic choice. You will have to pay. Okay, what do we get? So if we do this, we'll move over there. If we do this, we'll move over there. What does this give us? Plus five stability, plus five science. No, it's just stability. In the middle, it's just stability and nothing else. And what do we get here? Plus two faith. Now I want to get the science, actually. Natural right. Yeah. Why was this even a question? Let's keep it simple. We've been here. It's our place. Okay. We've done that and... I don't really feel comfortable not having units here, but... Um, oh, this will take nine... This will take nine turns, okay. Uh, can I split one guy from here? Um... Um, okay, let's see who is the most veteran of these. This one. Ten. 
at nine. So this one is the most veteran. So let's split him off. Oh, we can't in this turn. So uh, we'll, we'll wait for the next turn. So they are coming back. Uh, so we need to be careful there. Can we can we attack these guys? Yes, we can. Manual battle. Yeah, we cannot deploy anywhere else, so uh, let's see. Should we let them attack first to weaken them? Yeah, actually we should. No, they retreat, uh, these bastards. Over so, this way. um... All together. Yeah, we will, we will destroy them easily. They don't attack, they just defend, but yeah, no problem. Okay, we won a battle. Okay, this will take one more turn. So we have our guys over here. There is some kind of resource there, so I really want to claim this territory. But the problem is, this territory sucks. <laughs> um, and we don't have enough influence yet. So... Until then, so what I want to do here is actually split two guys off, Let's go. send these two guys to our capital uh, to defend it if necessary, and then let's uh, uncover some more territory here. So there is salt. So we have more units that can move. So we have these guys. Um, they can actually attack this mammoth. Uh, that's not good. We need to go over there and attack from there. For your families. Manual battle. So I don't want any units down on the low ground. So Off you go, go up there. And end deployment. Yeah! Oh, actually, that's low ground. I, okay, I'm stupid. So if I go there, it's 25, 35. That's the same from here. And if I go from there... Oh, that's actually not good. So, um... Let's do it Charge! from there. Charge! Then let's do it from there. And then let's see what these guys can do. 19, 30... It's the same from both angles. So let's, let's do go! it from there. Yeah, this mammoth is dead. This mammoth is dead, definitely. 20 gold! Okay, that's great. Uh, and we are already at end turn again. So, let's see. So, these guys... I wanted these to claim this territory, so we'll need... Ah, Jesus Christ, I don't have enough influence to claim territories. But, uh, yeah, our pyramid is coming along nicely. It is not though. just a bunch of buildings. It is warmth, protection, and, praise the gods, a bit of privacy. What? What are you talking about? So, uh, you guys... Uh, so we have Necker. Necker is finished. Um, let's see what we can find over here. Let's just keep close to our outpost there. Um, I could attach that to a... Um, to, uh, Memphis, but I don't really want to do that. I want to make a city out of this. Um, what do we have? Yeah, we don't have a lot of industry, but we can fix that. Uh, oof, this costs 320? Are you insane? Okay. Yeah, so we, we need a lot of lot more influence then. <laughs> um, so, what can we find here? Let's Open see. Oh, there's a curiosity, there's a lair. So yeah, there's definitely something to do for us over here. In the next turn, and then what do we have here? We have these guys. I want these to go there to defend our capital if necessary. So station these guys right there. And then these guys... Um, actually, so we have Babylon over there. Um... You just make sure they leave us alone. So these are the Babylonians. 
It can only be an advantage to have a neighbor as smart as you are. Okay, yes, the Babylonians. So let's Greetings. see. Greetings. I'm a good neighbor and a loyal friend. As long as you don't cross me. Have you anything to say? No, you don't. The world is full of new opportunities, is it not? Hear my proposal. A pleasure to accept. Oh, well played! Well played! Okay. Okay. Everyone happy? Okay, so let's move on. Um, yeah, what do we have? Lights of the Empire. As you... Okay, new civic. Army composition, show details. So, uh, yeah, we, we spend our influence on civics. Uh, we should save it for cities, but what can we get here? So, enact conscripts, uh, professional soldiers. So, we get either um, plus two inf oh, plus two influence would be a nice, or we can get vision range, detect. Yeah, that's an easy one. We we want uh, more influence. So we're profes professional soldiers. It definitely. does seem logical that people shouldn't have to do a job unless they want to. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, absolutely agree. So uh, we have two more turns for these pyramids there. So uh, let's see what we can do this turn. So we can... Let's first get this. Here. Old hoard, forty gold, and then let's ransack no this lair. So, uh, what else do we have there? So we have quite a bunch of. So the Babylonians, uh, they uh, they try to ransack us, which is not nice. Uh, for the moment, I will not do anything about them. I will just stay here and um, defend these two outposts until they are actually created so let's, let's go. go in there I should probably split one off and send it over there hmm I'm not really sure so let's see we have one there we have three there we have two there and we have two over here yeah I will just have Armies of two, then that would be would be all right, I think. So we have quite a bit of gold there. Can we do something with that? The first visible mark of this new culture. I hope the style is pleasing, because it will be around for as long as the city lasts. So we can build animal barns. Okay. Hmm. If, if we have horses, uh, scout riders. If we have horses, <laughs> we don't have horses. So, um, what can we do? Uh, did we lose some research? We had 10 at the start for each of these, I think. Hmm, interesting. So, uh, the next thing we want, we want the wheel, okay? But uh, we'll probably f first go for, the, um, for this one. We can then build arches, which is quite nice. Uh, what's that? Granary. And now we'll go for the carpentry, so uh, we'll do that. So, our pyramid is built. Our pyramid is pyramid is built. So this is not a wonder. This is just the uh, unique district for uh, for the Egyptians. So uh, we can build pyramids in every city, actually. So uh, Over there is way. a separate pyramid wonder as well. So we'll just see if there. Oh, there's a new lair. So we'll definitely ransack this. Um, then you guys. Um, we need horses. Where do we have horses? So let's go over there and see what I'm we on. can find there. So there is more papyrus. No, no, that's saffron. This looks similar. Um, what else? So I want one of you guys, and actually the one with uh, you have 1426, you have 326, and you have actually the one with 326. So you guy, you go over there, please, over and here. you too. Ah, oh, I selected the Again, selected the wrong one. Jesus Christ, so... Let's kill this deer. No. So attacking a deer inside their territory is a declaration of war, okay? Who knew? <laughs> so I will need to uh, take care of this in the next uh, on the next turn. So we built our... Um, 
population growth. Yeah, we'll need to uh, to invest in uh, what's that? Pottery workshop. Oh, actually, that's a good one uh, because it gives more influence. So actually, let's do this one before we do the food one. Definitely. Resource access. Yeah, whatever. Uh, we don't have any resources right now. We only have this ebony here. So we cannot attach, I know. Um, we have an event. A melody for every occasion. In the um, in the teeming, iconic city of Memphis, musicians are celebrated part of the local culture with a long history in holy rites. They bring nobility to religious rituals, jollity to palace celebrations, smiles to the sick and ailing, courage to marching armies, and distraction to the gods. Alas, they are still too small in number, especially the good ones, and now word of their renown has reached across the empire. Lords, priests, commanders, among others, are grousing uh, that their city deserves such artists too. How will you satisfy them? So I could muster or build. Street musicians riddle Memphis. They could help commerce elsewhere even if they distract learning. Every city will be required to build an institution of music where we can teach new performers. So what will this give us? Um, this will give plus 5 money and minus 2 science for 10 turns. That's not good. Our production on Memphis for 20 turns. Whoa, that is great. It costs us 60 money but we have enough of that. So convert. Definitely confirm that. Um, and end turn. So, uh, so the Phoenicians are in the race as well. Necker has gained the population. What else? So we have, uh, we can ransack here, so we'll do that. Uh, right there. Charge. Then what do we have here? Um... Okay, there's a like. Well, let's let's uncover some more territory here. Oh, there's a lair. Oh, we can actually get there. Let's ransack this. So again, how the hell? Um, how the hell do I detach one from here? So I wanted the one with the least. Yeah, I wanted this one. Let's do this. Oh, uh, okay, I then need to select... Okay, that, that was the problem. I didn't select the other one then. So, uh, let's kill this. Manual battle? Actually, no. Into the resolution. Because, um, yeah. It's just a deer. We don't need to fight every deer ourselves. So, uh, they don't have any movement left. Uh, we gain some money there. We can end the turn. So I successfully successfully plundered. We got some money from that as well, which is great. And we can then just uh, where is the other one? Uh, where where is the other unit? Okay, I don't get it. Where is the other unit? I had I sent one what unit over here. The one that I detached. Where where did it go? Huh? It, it has become invisible? What the hell? Yeah, I, uh, I guess we uh, encountered a bug because we have an invisible unit, guys. Okay, that is weird. I just hope this fixes itself. But, well, if it doesn't, I will just disband it. Okay, weird stuff. So uh, we can go to this. Come over here. Sanctuary over there, and there is a curiosity over there. So, uh, what we will do is yeah. we'll go as close as we can. So, and then these guys, what what are you going to do? Uh, go go back up there, just in case someone uh, tries to do funny things here. Okay, idle army. So these guys have movement left. So, Off well, we let's go. use that and see if anything spawned up here. Uh, and then, what the hell? Yes, yes, I don't want to attach, uh, actually I could, I could attach something, but I don't want to. <laughs> actually, I want to claim more territory, so um, let's get these guys moving. So which territory do I need to claim? Let, let's first uh, choose a new construction unit. So we have more stability with this. Stability is pretty good, so we don't need to do this. But uh, we could use some more um, 
growth. So let's see. So plus one, but it will give minus three construction. So let's see where we get. Hmm. Let's see where we get the least penalty. So this is really bad. Plus one, minus three, plus three, minus two, plus four, and no penalty. Well, there's no question then. Yeah, there's no question then. Put it there. Put it there, right there. So we have one guy on industry. Um, let me see. We can we can assign people to a different job. So let's drop him over there. Now it will take five turns. And growth will take one turn. Okay, we'll believe it the way it was. We'll leave it the way it was. So let's end this turn. Memphis gained a uh, population. So now we have... Yeah, yeah, it's okay. I will probably turn off these uh, tutorials. They're a little bit annoying. Um, so what did we get? We get... Because we have 12 uh, population, we got a star. We need another 12 to get the next one. Uh, how are we doing on the other stuff? Uh, well, not really good. <laughs> not really all that good, but uh, we are getting there. We are getting there. So, yeah. Um, idle armies. So, this guy is still invisible. I, I hope this fixes itself when we attach him to the other uh, army over there. <laughs> so, where is he? He's right there. Okay, so if we get these guys... And move them onto there. Now both are invisible. Yeah, great stuff. Okay, we need to claim territories. Um, we have enough um, influence to do so. So, which territory do I want? The problem now is these guys are up there. They can't really. Ah, Jesus Christ! So let's get these guys and attack this deer, please. Family. Uh, instant resolution, yes. That is another 10 gold. And then let's use these guys um, to um, actually uh, uncover the some territory up here. We want to um, claim a new territory, but it needs to be a good one because these are getting costly. So, um. so you guys, uh, you can actually... Can you reach this? No, you can't. So, uh, well... No fear! Attack, attack the deer instead, so um, open, yep, everything is alright, and then let's ransack this territory as well, to give us some money. So what else, uh, end turn, ransack successful, so there's a deer over there, uh, so let's get these guys. To, uh, scout out this territory and see what we can find there let's get up there and then let's use these guys to attack this deer yeah yeah instant resolution so uh, we won this battle as well what else do we have so we have our invisible army <laughs> Jesus Christ uh, what does it cost it cost 160 why why the hell does it cost 160? Oh, we have a lair. Uh, actually, let's ransack this lair. What else do we have? So we have these guys. Uh, they're not quite finished. So, um, where can we go? Let's go over there. They still have movement left. Okay, so that will not work. Um... So now they don't have movement left. So I want to scout out this little bit up there. Population loss. Uh, to the low growth. Uh, acknowledge. What the hell? So we lost the population on Memphis. That is not good. But well, our farm is coming along. So um, probably should be fine in the future. So let's attack this thing. Uh, instant resolution. 
And then let's get these guys to... Uh, no, they can't. Uh... So actually, let's go back let's then. Go. Yes. So we have our invisible army. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Let's go back down here. At least the game still knows they are there. At least that. Let's go. So let's see where are these guys. Uh, how can I get up there? I could go through there if they would let me, but... Mm. Off we go. Okay, just, just stay there. Population gain. So now we have another population. Memphis converted to a new religion. Uh, converted to Egyptian shamanism. Okay, that's great. Uh, so, can you now go up yes. there, please? No. Okay, you just stay there. Yeah, okay, just just stay there. Uh, then we have our invisible army again. Yeah, we'll just... Well, let's, let's just run around a little bit and see if you can find anything. Uh, then we have these guys I'm go back you. to Memphis. Then we'll uh, station them there. We'll keep an eye. So, and you guys, please uh, uncover the last bit of terrain here. Okay, there's just mountains. Good. Now, which territory do we want? So, we have built... Uh, how are we doing? Every 100 turn we are gaining one population. That is not good enough. So, uh, let's see. Plus 6, minus 0. Plus 4. So, actually, let's put it there then. Surplus. We have a surplus of 1. We need more. We need definitely more. So, we'll, we'll build this. Uh, we can't really build any units. We can build public ceremonies, we could build... Uh, we could build stone rings, but we don't really need them right now, so we'll not, we'll not do that. The melody for every occasion too. Uh, creating an institution dedicated to music in every city was an excellent idea. Performers produce, fi produce refined, delicate compositions and many pay for the privilege to hear them play. Music is a serious artful practice carried out by trained adepts. The strict classical musical culture is well established. Uh, euphony. Music is a sacred art only to be performed by those with the requisite, with the, uh, requisite learning. So what did happen? Modifies the order axis to authority. Uh, okay. Um, show civics. Okay, we are plus 10 stability. Oh, okay, what, what do we get here? Uh, we get influence. Liberty? Authority? Oh no, we, we moved into that direction. It's not too good. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll, we'll need to influence that the other way again. So, uh, a, uh, claim a new... So we can, we can, uh, we can... We can uh, only attach this one right now. All the other ones are too expensive. Jesus Christ. So let's see if... Is this is this a good... There's a strategic resource that we do not know yet. But that's about it. There's not much else in this district here. So... Um, and this one costs 160. But the cool thing is... Uh, Mount Roirama. Ro Roirama. So actually, we, we want to get this. So we wait until we have 160, then we'll get this one there. We have... Uh, where is our unit? I think it's here. Yeah, it's there. So, uh, end turn. I want to turn this into a city, but it costs a ton. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll first... First, we'll just claim a territory. Or, well, this would be cheaper if this were a city, wouldn't be? Wouldn't it be? I think this would be much cheaper if this were a city. I think that's it, because... Uh, yeah, the other territories are not 
directly adjacent to a city. So it would be more, it would be cheaper in the long run to first turn this into a city and then attach this, ter uh, then claim this territory. I think that's it basically. So do we want to get this one up here? There's a resource that this could be an important resource and we need to expand over there as well. So I probably should do this. I mean, it's 60 influence, but I probably should be doing this. So where is the best one here? 7 and 16, 7 and 12, 12 and 3, 9 and 3, 4, oh Jesus Christ. So 4 plus 22, yeah, but it's just 4 food. 7 and 16, it's a little bit more food. Um, my target is not visible. Um, actually, we didn't really... Okay. You know what? Um, let's move these guys actually yeah. over there. Oh, and actually we can ransack and stuff, so that's not that's not too bad. Uh, so you guys, basically, you run around here and see if anything spawned. So you guys can finally, hopefully, go up there. Yes. Uh, but you don't have any movement left. Uh, you guys, what are you doing there? Um, Can I attach this? So when I make the city, I want to attach this territory. I should probably attach this. Uh, so if I attach this for 60. So what is the, what is the good thing about attaching this? These territories become cheaper. So we'll, we'll attach that. Okay, we'll attach that to Memphis, okay. So what else do we have? Um, we have these guys and we'll see if we can find anything interesting going on. Yes, we can. We can attack this deer. Tall discovered! What's, what the hell? Uh, instant resolution, that's okay. What did we discover? What? The Hittite discovered a stunning tall lake, okay. Great, whatever. Um, so we have quite a bit of money. Um, I'm wondering, should we just buy out this production? Oh, we can't afford that. Not by a long shot. Not by a long shot. New grievance is available. What the hell? Tell me about yourself. Demand give yield room. Uh, what the hell? Let, let me see, what is that? So they claimed this territory over here. Do we want that? No, actually I think I'm fine with that. I, I don't necessarily see anything really important in there. I don't see any resources there. Oh, there are horses over there. Now I found horses. Now I know what I need. Jesus Christ, I need horses. So this means I need this. So, um... Where is the diploma diplomacy? Um grievances. Let's see. Um I really know. Really people this. might forgive me if I let you go this time. Okay. If I wanted to laugh, I would have called for my jester. Uh what the hell? Okay, we will have a problem at some time, you know that? So uh, uh what the hell? So I want to, uh, I want this territory. I really want this territory. Let's see. We can actually do this. Um, so where would be a good place? We have nine and sixteen right there. Actually, let's let's wait. Let's hmm. first get this carcasses forty gold. Do we have any movement left? Actually, we do. So what we will do then is see where do we have the best so this is a uh, 9 and 16 and it's close to our border so it's easy to protect uh, what do we have over there 11 and 11 oh jesus christ this is the same territory still <gasps> okay we need we need to build over there we can't we cannot do this here we need to build over there 
Jesus Christ. So we'll do this with the other unit the next turn. Um, okay, so let's see. Uh, who else needs to move? You need to move. Uh, you need to ransack this territory there. Uh, this sanctuary there. Then what else do we have? Um, what did I want to do with these guys? I'm no longer. I no longer uh, remember. <laughs> They're just running around back and forth, huh? protecting this border. So these guys here, um, they can't really do much more, but they can over go here. over there. So uh, we need to we need to do this back there. We need to claim this territory. There is no way around this. Ransack successful. So uh, there's another one. Okay. So these guys. Um, yeah, yeah, just run back and forth. So who else do we have? So now we need to build this outpost, and we need to build it 14 and 12. Um, that's actually great. 16, 14 and 12. That is fantastic. That is just insane. Yeah, let's do this. Let's let's claim these horses. We really need them. So, yes. Uh, who else do we have? We have these guys. They can attack there. Instant resolution. Quite a bit of gold. So you guys can attack there, instant resolution, another bit of gold, and yeah, that's it. Um, so I would say that's it for today. I would say that's it for today. Now we can obviously no longer play through an entire era in one episode. That would be way too much because, well, because of the game speed I chose, it's really, really slow. But you know what? I th That's what I like. I like to play these games slow to take my time develop my empire and really play around with uh with the units and the buildings and just interact with the other empires and not just rush through these eras and yeah i don't like that so i i really i really like this game speed right now it's just we spend an hour in the neolithic and now we already one are one hour into the ancient period and it will take a few more hours to get through this uh, period and i really really like this i know that uh, it's probably not as entertaining um as a uh, higher game speed but yeah i play these games how i like and if you enjoy watching that then you yeah well i'm happy about that uh, if not well there are other youtubers who play these games faster <laughs> so uh, i will play at my speed and if you enjoy that i am pleased uh, and i'm happy and uh, please watch my videos if you don't well uh look somewhere else for your entertainment um that's basically that um yeah uh so i do hope uh, you you enjoy uh you enjoy uh, this episode uh, if you did please leave a like below and come back next time to watch more humankind and see what the egyptians will uh will do next time i hope we can claim this territory and i uh, also hope we can claim this territory over there and make necker into a city uh, so we have quite a few plans here and i probably should claim this as well because there is some kind of resource there and it could be something uh important so we will need to uh make sure we have uh, we have a claim on that but uh yeah this will be all stuff for next episode so uh, until then i uh, hope you have a great time i wish you all the best uh, stay safe and stay healthy and yeah bye